so this is done. I'm going to drain this and it cool off, put in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow it'll be one of the ingredients for the uh, what I'm making uh, in the crock pot. So here is the other ingredients that's going in there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to chop off this stuff and uh, get them individualized and then uh, clean them and have them ready for tomorrow too. Alright, so we're going to cut this stuff off right here. I don't think you could ever do anything with this part except throw it away. My husband put it in his bucket there. He, he does a lot of compost and stuff. And, uh, but it's, it's really kind of wasteful. I ha you hate it, but that's just part of it. So, um, it's right here is really what I want to take off. And then that way, get this stuff. Off, and then I'm going to take it and stick it in here and rinse it real good. Hmm. That's, oh, okay. I thought it was pretty green, but it's not. I thought it was, okay. Also, what I like to do, too, is that I know a lot of people think, oh, we'll just throw the rest of this little, little bit right here away or whatever. It's still got flavoring in it, though. So what I like to do, put it in there, and rinse that off. And I like to take what I can, what's left of this, and just kind of cut it. Or I could, you know, I don't think it's gonna, yeah, so I, cause it's gonna be cooked in that crock pot. This, it'll cook down where it won't be hard. And so, use every little bit you can end of it. I mean, that's what I do. So, a lot of people just take the, what do you call these, uh, I don't know, but flunk these and then they rinse them off and don't, don't even worry about this other stuff. But I'm going to stick that there. Hey everybody, it's Teresa from Alabama and I'm um, doing another Friday supper. This recipe is a recipe that belonged to my aunt. And my sister would always make it for me when I went over there and stayed and spent the night and uh, went over to her house. So uh, she has now passed away. She passed away with COVID. Uh, my brother and my sister passed away months uh, apart from COVID. And uh, so I wish I had wrote the recipe down because I always had a collar when I wanted to make it. So I would call her and, and I said, I know, I know, I'm gonna write it down this time. And I might've wrote it down. Just don't remember where it's at. <laughs> but, um, so I'm gonna go by memory. Memory, you know how that goes. But um, I was talking to my other sibling and, uh, and I told her uh, you know, I said, do you remember the recipe? You know, we don't, I don't even know the name. I don't even know if it's got a name. And so she, she said, well, I said, do you know if it, so the recipe consists of this, okay? Ground beef, you know, chopped onions, simmered, cooked, and then, uh, cauliflower, uh, think of cauliflower, fresh cauliflower, uh, and, uh, this, and garlic and um, real thin spaghetti. So, and I think one potato. Okay, so I asked my other sibling, I said, well, do you remember it had, if it had, you know, the one potato in it? And, and uh, she says, mm, I don't know, I don't remember. And I'm thinking, I don't remember if you've ever made it. But anyway, so, uh, in the back of my mind, I'm hearing my sister Carolyn saying, it has the potato, one potato, it has the potato, the one potato, okay? So, uh, I thought, well, it wasn't going to hurt putting one potato in there. So, we're going to put the one potato, and I thought I'd put it in the crock pot, you know, let it cook for four hours. That seems like the standard, you know, slow cook 
of it. And then after that, um, add the, you know, the thin spaghetti. And it's not a soup, because it shouldn't be really soupy. Um, and it's, I really don't. I guess it's like a pasta dish with uh, cauliflower, maybe. I don't know. All right. So I'm just going to chop this up. This is a potato. But... And of course, you know, salt and pepper, whatever you want to. Um, flavor it with. I do remember it was garlic. It's, it's a very simple recipe, but it, I don't know. I can't even describe the flavor for y'all. But uh, it's very. You would think oh, cauliflower. It, it just has a really. I don't. I just don't know. I can't tell you. <laughs> but it's really good. Uh, at least it's. I think it's really good. Okay, so we are going to. Uh, I've already ground the beef last night, so I wouldn't have to do it this morning at 6 o'clock. All right, we're going to add that. It's one, one pound of ground beef um, in the onions. Well, goodness, that, look at that. I didn't think it was a lot, but it looks like it's a lot. Okay. Then, I'm trying to get over here. I can see. Okay. That. And I washed these yesterday because I haven't washed them. Cauliflower. The potato. How's the weather where y'all at? Right now, well, one day it was nearly 70. And next day it was like 50. And now today it's just like pouring down raining. So, and the lights have flickered a little bit. So I'm hoping that they don't go out so I can finish work. And this will finish cooking. I use two cans because when you put the spaghetti in there, it's going to kind of dry up some of the juice and stuff, and so in garlic. Let me get the garlic. I tell you, it's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't miss my sister. Um, thing, you know, she was just a great sister. Alright, let's get some garlic in here. She used to, when I was younger, because she was older than me, she's my oldest sister, and she would, when she got married, she would, she would, um, babysit me. She say, hey, you want to come over? And I'll go, eh, she gets, well, I'll make you your peanut butter cookies. And, uh, she also, I don't know if y'all remember that, but she would make it was called box spaghetti. I don't know if that's what it called, but it came in a box, and you had the 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 uh, pasta and a little can of tomato paste, and I, I don't remember what else. But anyway, you cook it. It's this for like maybe you know four people, but uh, it came in a little box, and I can't remember who made it. If y'all remember who made it, you can put it in the comments. But years ago, but she'd make those peanut butter cookies, and those were good times. Anyway. Anyway, so, um, here we go. Oh, also, when she was a great, um, she, she was a great believer in Jesus Christ, and she, uh, uh, did a lot of, uh, created a lot of prayers and poems and, and stuff, and so, in this video, I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna re I'm gonna read one of her points for y'all. Uh, so here we go. Smells great. <laughs> so I've never done it. Okay, so that's it. So I've never done it in a crock pot, but I figured you can do anything in a crock pot. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but um, so I'll see you when it finishes cooking. This is the stuff that I use. It's the real thin, thin um, blown uh, noodles. I mean, you know, spaghetti. So, uh, I just like this better. Uh, there's the angel hair pasta. And then there's the regular thick kind. I just don't really like that thick kind. But this kind is really good. I mean, I think. It's, it's whatever y'all want in there. But, uh, alright. Okay, so we're ready to add this. Uh, this is the thin spaghetti stuff. So I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do, cause I, this stuff cooks really quick. And let me just show you this real quick. Oh, sorry, I know y'all heard that. All right, so that's what it's looking like. All right, so I am going to stick this in here. And I may even, because this is going to dry up some of this uh, sauce in here. And um, I don't measure nothing. You know me. And I just put it in there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water in here. Because that way, this will cook. Like I said, it's not supposed to be a soup. I'm going to add a little bit more in there. And, um... And get some water. Probably. About that much. And the reason why is about uh, over a fourth. Is because this is going to... I don't even think I need that much. Yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, this is going to cook down some of that... Um, some of that, um, with this, these noodles in there, it's going to cook some, that, some of that is going to get lost and it's going to get thickened. That's what I mean. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. So I'm going to leave this on for another 30 minutes and then we'll cut it off and we'll see. Okay. So this is the final product. I told you that the water would soak up, you know, it would be soaked up. So I am fixing to make me a bowl. So here is the final product. It does, uh, it definitely, um, I made the right decision putting that one potato in there because it tastes exactly like it tasted when my sister gave me the recipe. It's very good. Like I said, I was going to uh, recite one of my sister's prayers. Um, because this is sort of like a video. I mean, this is her, the recipe I used to ask her for and everything. And, and I just felt like uh, it, it's on my heart to share one of her um, prayers that she uh, had um, had actually um, written. So, it's called Healings Comes from the Cross. Precious Jesus, put your healing blood that was spilled and suffered by you in our blood, and please heal us. With every painful beat of the rod on your back, and every nail that pierced your hands and feet, with that healing pain, heal all our pain, sweet Lord. With your new resurrected body, full of life, Lord, make our bodies like unto yours. And please heal us. You are a God of miracles. All you have to do is will it so. And we shall be healed. Flowing streams of healing blood. Flowing streams of healing love. Coming from a God so good. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Put your sacred healing hands upon us. And heal us from the top of your hands to the bottom of our feet. O oh Lord, what you went through on the cross to prove your love for us. 
We are so desperate for that healing love, sweet Lord. Please heal us now. We are desperate for the healing blood and the healing pain. Please heal us, Lord. Please will it so, Lord. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Your mercy endures forever. Your name means healing. Will it so? We pray. Thank you, sweet Lord. Amen. So, that was one of many that she wrote. Poems, um, prayers. Um, she was actually a sergeant with the Salvation Army. And uh, she would do Sunday services and um, read uh, and write um, stuff for the, the services. So, that being said, that's just a little bit of tribute to my sister Carolyn, who uh, is missed every day. And um, anyway, so y'all go out and have a good weekend. Bless somebody and remember to pray for people who are hurting and need healing.